Okay, first of all, I would just like to say that I do 100% believe that God blessed us with the best prosecuting team that we could ever ask for. The right decision was made by the jury on the guilty verdict on all counts. We have been through six and a half long, hard years, and I would like to thank all the people who have walked every step of the way with us. Finally, after six and a half years, I do feel that we got justice for our daughter. Thank you. Can you just talk about why it was important for you to take the stand today? My daughter, of course, is not here to speak for herself. So today, I am her voice, and I wanted people to know there's more to this. It was not just a girl that was lost. Um, in someone's lives. This affected many, many people. On April 13th, 2011, we lost our innocence. Decatur County lost its innocence. People that had never locked their doors before started locking their doors, as they should. This deep, dark world that these people lived in we didn't know about that world because we didn't live in it. Can you talk about how much helped the community? You still drive through Parsons, you see the signs, you see the ribbons. How much help the community has given the Bolo family and, and, and all its friends? We could have never, ever asked for any more support and help that we have received than we've received over the last six and a half years. People continued day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. You talked about how you took this deal for your family's sake. Can you just explain what that looks like, for you, what going forward looks like? I mean, people have been talking about you all maybe moving. Can you just tell us what you meant by that? Were you Going forward, about the death, death penalty appeals because I know that a lot of times in the past, like with Paul Reed and everything, he got in the news every month for 10 years and you had to relive it. I, I was wondering if maybe that was part of it. We have lived a hard life and walk on a, an extremely unimaginable hard road for six and a half years. So I did consider that in our decision for the future in hopes that maybe we can start to rebuild what life we have left. And if there is any joy to be found in life anymore, that we can start finding it. What was last night like for you all after the guilty verdict and, and then came back? What was last night like for you all? I don't really, right now today, I'm really not even sure. Um, what to expect because we didn't realize what families went through, had no idea, and so I, I just don't think anyone can possibly even begin to understand what you go through. So I think that's going to just take a few days because from April 13, 2011, we, we had an a different normalcy and so I don't know how long it'll take us to get back to even somewhat of what we were. What are your feelings towards Zach Adams right now? I'm sorry I'm what sorry sir. Towards Zach Adams right now? I think those were clearly ex expressed in my statement. And how really I'm sorry, you really wanted to look at him. What did you see when you looked at him? Absolutely no, no remorse at all. Just the animal he is. Absolutely. You said you saw your husband smile for the first time in six and a half years. Did you smile? I did. I did. I'm hoping that smile can get bigger through the years. Where's the strength coming from in the family to, to stand up here in front of all of us and, and talk about that to, to in front of where's the strength coming from? 
from God above. There's nothing else. Okay. Thank you.